Hi there, welcome to the Jamma Job Board installation tutorial. Here we have downloaded the zip file and placed it right onto our desktop. We extract the files by right clicking on the file name and the files are just about done. Let's have a look at what we've extracted. Double click on the new Jamma Job Board folder and beautiful looks like all the files are there we're ready to upload the files using the FTP program FileZilla press this button to add your FTP hosting account add a new site put in your host name login type as normal Put in your username, put in your password. Now, for server type, most people use FTP, but we change our server type to be SFTP just so to give us additional security. Click connect, and then you'll connect to your FTP server. On the left are the files on your local computer, and on the right are the files on your hosting account. Change into your HTML folder directory, which in our case is public underscore HTML, and select all the files on the left, which you will upload. Files and directories. In this case, we don't really need to upload the docs directory, so we unselect it, and then right click and choose Upload from the pop up menu. You'll see on the bottom of the screen is the queue of all the files which are going to be uploaded on the top is our status and a few minutes later we can see that our queue has only a few files on the list and it's just about done the upload is finished now let's have a look at the file permissions in the home directory you will need to give write permissions to the two files config.php and rss.xml. Select those files simultaneously and then right click and click on file attributes. Make sure that all the right checkboxes are checked and click OK. Now it will take a while while the permissions are set and you can see on the right permissions column that the permissions have changed to read write read write read write. Okay, next you need to change the permissions for the cache directory and you need to make sure that all the checkboxes are checked. And you can see that the permissions have changed. Now let's go to the upload underscore files directory. There you need to set writing permissions for the docs and the images directory. Again by checking all the checkboxes. Let's go inside to the docs directory where you'll find a temp directory. Give writing permissions to the temp directory by giving all the right permissions. Now let's go back, go to the images directory. There will be a thumbs directory in the images directory. You will right click it, file attributes and give all the permissions there. Now you can see that all the permissions have been set and we are ready to go. Oh, one more thing. In the lang directory, you will need to change the permissions for the language that you're using. You need to give right permissions to this language. In this case, we're using English, so we give right permissions to english.php. Let's now set up the MySQL database. Here we create a new database by entering a new database name. Next, we create a new user by entering a new username. And then entering the password. Finally, we may need to add the privileges for this user. Not all hosting accounts have this feature. 
Here we add the user to the database and we select all privileges. All done. Great. Now let's have a look at what we've created. You can see that the host is localhost. And the username was prefixed with the PHP job underscore prefix. And our database name is PHP job underscore. And now we are ready to run the installation script. Fire up your web browser, go to your website and navigate to admin slash install PHP. There you'll see the installation page. Fill in your database settings. For the database host, we put in local host. Yours may be different, but usually 99% chance it's local host. Put in your database name, put in your username, which you made up before, and put in your password. Finally, review the other settings. These settings are filled in for you automatically. Don't worry about the path to image magic executable yet. You can fill this in later. Click the continue button to continue. Finally, you can click the install database button and it will create all your databases for you. There you go. It installed all your database for you. And now, one more thing. Please remember to delete the install PHP file from the admin directory. We do this by going back to FileZilla, navigating to your admin directory, locating your install PHP file, and deleting it from the folder. Okay, all done. We're ready to go to the admin section. Now the default password for the admin section is OK. If your web hosting account supports cron jobs, here we show you how to set up cron jobs. Go to the menu on the left and click cron info. On the right, the system will show you some information about cron jobs. The system will also recommend a command for your cron job. Copy this command. Go into your hosting account. Go to where you manage your cron jobs. We choose the standard experience level. And paste the command in. Select it to run every five minutes, for every hour, for every month, for every day, and every weekday. Now let's test our installation. Go into the web browser, type in your address, and voila, we have the job board installed on our system. Congratulations.